Hi, we are here. Myself, Professor Suresh Adani, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics. CS Bengali Arts, Shahyamar Foundation Science and Geography Thomas Degree College, Ramdhuri, Karnataka. Okay, so now today I would like to start with one important concept of calculus. It is a fundamental calculus. Concept of calculus also that is nothing but the limit of a function. It is most important for the VSC students. Okay, so now we start the concept of uh, limit of a function. Limit of a function. Okay, 
Now we will move the graphical representation. Okay. Graphical representation. Okay. Graphical representation means whatever you are going to study in terms of definitions or in terms of equations, try to represent in the graph. Okay. Already you know that graph means it is a Cartesian coordinate system. In the Cartesian coordinate system, there are two real, real lines. Those are perpendicular to each other on each side axis and the one is y axis. Okay. So on that basis, first I will consider a Cartesian coordinate system here. Cartesian coordinate system. This is x axis. This one is y axis. Okay. This is the origin 0, 0. By this modulus, modulus of f of x minus l is less than n problems. What it means? Modulus having, it, modulus is always absolute value. That means it is either to be negative and positive. There should be two values for the modulus. One is negative and another one is positive. Okay, if I remove this modulus sign, the modulus Reversion, you can write it as minus f1 is less than f of x minus l is less than f1. If I remove the modulus sign, one f1 will come to the left, that becomes minus f1. Then we can say that f of x minus l, it is existing in between minus f1 and plus f1. But here minus l is that. This minus L, I will take to the other side. Okay, if I take that minus L to the other side, it becomes a positive, it becomes L minus epsilon is less than the progress. And again, the same minus L to the other side, now again it becomes a plus, it becomes, it is less than L plus epsilon. Okay, by using the equation, by using the equation, Modulus of f of x minus l is less than f1. We can write it as l minus epsilon is less than f of x and f of x is less than l plus epsilon. What it means? Now the value of function f of x is defined only in between l minus epsilon and l plus epsilon. It is not a limit. Okay? So now these are the two boundary, the end points of function f of x. But it is to the angle modulus curve is that that is modulus of x minus k less than uh, less than delta here we write that for by using the second modulus equation modulus of x minus a is less than delta it can be written as minus delta is less than x minus k it is less than plus delta again here minus k is the uh, some here value and take the other side minus k becomes now plus k it becomes for k minus of delta is less than x and take the minus k the other side also now this becomes k plus of delta okay so now the second modulus equation modulus of x minus a is less than delta can be written as a minus delta is less than x, x is less than a plus delta. Okay, so now come to this equation. Find the function f of x is defined between L minus epsilon to L plus epsilon. At that time, value of x is defined only between a minus delta to a plus delta. That means that there is a limit for the function f of x now. Okay. I will consider somewhere I will consider this point as L. Okay? Because this is your form of x is equal to L. This is the value of a function. Value of a function is always represents in the y-axis. Okay? Because the function is represented as y to the f of x and x is different variable. That means value of the function is defined in terms of y. Okay, so I will consider that this point is L. So if there is a point L minus epsilon 
means it is literally less than the yellow. So we will be putting this one in dash. Yellow minus soft epsilon. And there is one more value that is yellow plus soft epsilon. So we will take this one in dash. Yellow plus soft epsilon. Okay. So now we find out three points. One is yellow. Yellow minus epsilon. Yellow plus soft epsilon. By this equation, already we know that the half x is defined only between L minus epsilon and L plus epsilon means there is some body points. Horizontally, you can take some dot lines here. This is a line on y axis at L minus epsilon. Okay, I will make another dot line here. This is a straight line horizontally. Now, I will take a point A on x axis. I will take a point A on x axis because we say that the form x have a limit L as x to means now the value of x is tending to A. So, so you should take x equal to A some point on x axis. If we give A come to this equation, x is defined between a minus delta to A plus delta. So there should be some point left to A that is A minus delta here. And for right to A there is some other point called A plus delta. Okay? This is A plus delta. So now again I will take two straight lines. One is at A minus delta which is perpendicular to x axis but parallel to y axis. And I will take another straight line which is perpendicular to x axis at a minus delta but parallel to y axis. This area, the area intersected by b, two horizontal and two vertical lines in a Cartesian coordinate system. This line plays the area is called limit area of a function in f of x as x tending to a. This is called now the boundary of a function or not. Okay? Within this boundary only f of x is defined as x tending to a. So this is called the place or the region where the f of x can be defined as an extreme a, this is a graphical representation of a function. Most important thing, whatever you are going to define in a mathematics, try to represent in a graph. Okay? If you know that limit of a function means limit of a complex equal to l as an extreme a, this is a equation. Or mathematically, can I get as modulus of a complex minus a less than l form for modulus of x minus l less than that is the equation. But when you uh, convert to the equation of the definition in terms of graph, then only you can understand that what is the concept actually. Okay? By using this diagram, you can say that this is the body or the region where f of x can be defined as x tending to a. That's why it is the limit of a function. Okay? So with this I will conclude that the definition of a limit and graphical representation of a limit of a function. In the next class, we will move the left hand limit and the right hand limits of a function. Okay? Then I will give us some example how to find the left hand limit and right hand limits. Okay? With this, we will find out the session. If you like the video, click the like button and if you want to watch our remaining videos, uh, click the subscribe button also and thank you all.